Hi guys, it's Rachel here. I hope you can hear me. Um, my the my overhead thing is not working. It's broken, so I have to get a new one or get see if Steffi can fix it. So we're on the tripod. So hopefully I don't knock you off and I hope you can hear me. Um, so for the 100 day project today, um, I'm going to revisit Shabby Dabby Doo Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Da's um, envelopes that she had done many moons ago in her, when she first started her mass making. And she had put a few, a couple of little journal pages in. And then she would attach this down or wrap it around or attach it down on a journal page. And this would tie up and that would open. And you had a few little journaling spots. So what I thought I might try, instead of um, using an envelope, and one day I will finish these off. I've got a whole lot made. I did some mess making like Tina and then um, um, I need to finish them off. But what I thought I would try is to make my own envelope, but not um, this style with the triangle, um, and then um, add some pages. So instead of using a recycled envelope or a new envelope, um, I'm going to make my own. But they're going to be the you know, the regular rectangle. So we'll start off by folding it into three, like so. And this is going to be my flap here. So just folding it into three. And then I'm going to fold up, fold in my sides, because I don't want it quite that big. I don't measure how much I'm going to fold it in by, just eyeball it. And then we'll fold over here. And I've also got some papers that are uh, these ones are double-sided, They're the way they're printed. They're left over from yesterday's project. Now, tomorrow for my 100-day project, I think I'm going to work on my lace journal because I haven't touched that for a while. So that's going to be my envelope. Okay, so we need to snip out our bits that we don't need. The good thing about having you on the tripod is I can see exactly if I'm on, I can't see there, if I'm on screen or not and if it's recording. That's all a bonus. I need to snip this off here. And here. Very late in the afternoon. I've been out most of the day, so I haven't had a chance to get anything done. I didn't think I'd get a video done at all. Um, this is a, I think it's a William Morris. It's from my um, green kit, I think I had it. So if you've got that, you'll have this paper. So cutting an angle there. Those are the flaps that I'm gonna glue down. And then I'll just cut along my line here. It's going to be a bit awkward working with the tripod, so I've got to try not to knock it. Okay, so that will glue there. That's all. Oh, that's good, and that's my thing. Now, what I can do here is fold these over, and see if I use the decorative paper, I don't have to cover it all up. Whereas with um, the ones which we will do some of those with Tina's ones. Um, I did end up covering up, you know, using a lot of digitals and things like that. And I might just snip rather than rounding. Okay, so we'll glue this down. I might just do, where's my thing? I'm going to do, oh, wait, before I glue it down, I'm going to cover. Oh no, I'm going to, I'm going to put, put, I don't need to do that. What am I doing? I'm not using it as an envelope. Okay. So I'm just going to go around over here. I'm just going to stand up actually. I don't want to knock the telephone. It's in a precarious position. Oopsie. Dropped a glue. It was attached to my Tombow glue. Okay. So I'm going to put some glue on here. Just eyeball it. Maybe just run a little bit of glue there. Mm. 
Okay, let's see how we go. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about this bit here. I could actually make that smaller. I might just fold. I'm going to make that. No, I'm going to leave that. Okay, so we need to attach some pages. But first thing I think I want to do is I'm going to attach a strip of paper here because I'm going to trim this over here. So like I did, like we, you do with um, Tina's ones. And we also need to prepare our writing paper. So let's have a look if I've got anything here. I do. I've got some folded bits over here. So we might use a few of these. We'll just tear them down to the right size. You don't need too many, it's just a little extra journaling spot. So I'll tear that one down. Oh, I've got itchy face. And I'll tear this one down. Do them different sizes. There we go. Just a couple of pages. You could do three, I'm just going to do two. Put in there. And then these. I'm going to clip it on there. They get stapled in, is what happens. Now, I've got this stapler, but I don't have one of those really good staplers that you can go around things. Hopefully, I don't go off screen. I shouldn't, but I might. So, see if I can get... I can do it just... Maybe I need a clip. You could um, stitch it in if you could be bothered. That could happen. Let's just grab this and see if we can get it to stay in place with that. Okay. I don't have one of those big long armed staples, but that'll do. It'll be a little bit crooked. But it'll 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 be okay. Okay, so my pages are stapled in. Probably looking totally weird. Thinking, what is she doing? Okay, we are revisiting Tina's idea now. All I need to do, like with Tina's other ones, when we're using, where did I put the? I think I put it away. Oh no, here it is. So what we did was we had a whole. Well, this one's blue and lovely, so you probably don't need to. But with the just if you had a like a white um, envelope, you'd put a piece of paper there, but not glue it there, and then just glue it down there and glue here, and then snip, and you've got a side tuck sort of thing. So I just need a little piece of paper there. I don't need a lot, but I need do need one that goes all the way down. Oh, I know I've got some scraps over here. What about these? See, so something like this would be good. Maybe that bit there, but maybe not quite so not quite so long. Let's have a look. What else is in here? Like not quite so wide is what I mean. I don't want it to be so wide. I think I might prefer that one. Okay, so let's just I think I would tear this one in half. Or less than half even maybe even like that well let's just take that off first okay So what I need to do is I'm going to run some glue down here. Actually, I might size it to the right size. Get rid of the excess. So we're just going to close in that little gap. So all I really need to do is 
run some, I'll run some glue down here. I'm going to run some glue here. You don't want it on your pocket bit. Although this is so far in, it wouldn't really matter even if you did close that off. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Just smush a bit of glue there. And then here go round. Normally I would use my glue stick, but I need to be a bit more precise. Okay. And put this on. might have closed it I don't know okay so that's like that it's already decorated at the front and then all I need to do here I can decide do I want a top a top tuck or do I want a side I think I'll have a side one in this one now it will be white inside but that's not the end of the world just snip a little bit off and then you've got a side tuck in there make sure it all didn't stick good and now we just can decorate it and then we get the um, Baker's twine and we glue it across there and then just say this is my journal page just say I had a writing journal page let me grab a book page here just say this is my journal page and um, and I you know you're not going to write on there so one side I'll have I'll keep free this will glue down and then I'll cover that with a decorative paper. So that's why I wasn't worried about that white. Or I could, I actually could fold it over like that and make it smaller and put some, put some sort of paper there. And then you've got this cute little thing that you can write on. I think that's really cute. I like the idea of doing it with um, printed out papers or it could be a wrapping paper or any sort of paper. Super, so pretty, this paper. Anyway, um, so we I'll put this aside. We'll make another couple and then we'll just finish them up. So I've also got these left over. Now, these ones have the um, writing inside. Now, as the flap is going to um, glue down onto um, the journal page, I don't want to have, like, I, I like the writing there, so I don't want to cover that up, is my thought. So that's going to go here I could probably have a smaller flap I think we'll have a smaller flap and a bigger envelope so fold that and you don't need to worry about your gap because um, we're going to close it up put that like that and then we need to fold it on the sides So I won't be able to link, I wish I could link Tina's video. Um, it was such a long time ago, I don't think I'd be able to find it. I don't remember what episode it was. But I also made them. I've done them in the past quite a few times So because they're wonderful things. I actually haven't, this is why I'm revisiting this idea, but doing a little spin on it. Um, because uh, I haven't made them for a really long time and I haven't included them in journals. I'm just thinking, no, I don't want to. I was thinking I could leave these flaps on and wrap them around the back, but I don't think I'll do that. Let's go down to your crease. Cut in at an angle. Now, the reason you cut in at an angle is so that when it folds in, you see it doesn't crash into the crease. Hopefully I'm not going off screen. I haven't done that for such a long time and then I'll be in trouble. I used to get into trouble all the time for being off screen. It was a continual thing. It was incredibly frustrating too because you get you start concentrating and, and you, you don't want to go off screen, but you start concentrating and then you forget to check. Whereas when you're above, well, I used to go off screen off there as well, but less. Um, it's harder to go off screen. Unless you sort of start holding things towards yourself and then you go off screen. Okay. So we can glue that up there. So I just put 
a little bit of glue here. Here. And then here. I'm sorry I'm a lefty. The phone's on that side and I'm probably covering you. Just trying to think of all the eventual problematics that could come out. And then I'm just going to snip this one like this. Like so. And there's my little envelope that I'm not using as an envelope. I'm going to just put a little strip of something there. What do I have here? That's not long enough. We need something long enough. And I don't want it to be too wide because I don't want to cover up all that writing either. So I'll use this piece here. We'll cover a little bit up, but not all of it. I wouldn't be able to rip that. There we go. And just this one I don't even need to be too fussy about because it's I've got the tiniest gap there. I can even close that gap up. See how tiny that gap is there? I'm not going to lose very much real estate in my pocket with that. So I might as well just go really quick and put my glue stick. Now, if you have one of those We Are Memory Keeper uh, envelope punch boards, they'd be good for this, but I don't have one of those. They look complicated to me. But no, I don't want to, I don't need all that equipment. I just like doing organic, you know, making them by hand, these sorts of things. So that closes up your pocket. And this one I might decide, I might have a top well, I'll let it dry actually. No, I'm going to have a side. I'll tell you why, because I haven't glued down 100% fully my flaps and I'll end up with a little gap in there. Although you could slip some glue in there, but I'm going to have a side tuck. So really the, the, the point of having it printed double-sided, I don't think you need them printed, except it's nice when you open it. And because I have my HP printer and I'm in the Insta Ink program, I don't really worry too much about um, using my ink because it's a fixed price and I, my, I, print, I don't print quite as much as I used to actually so um, I actually have always have left over oh, for the plan I'm on I have I'm just trying to see if I've got some scrap bits of paper in here too it's a good thing for scrappy bits of paper um, the plan I'm on I, I seem to always be in credit with prints you might have a few different pages. Again, always lovely things to sort of put together for Happy Mail as well. See, these pages are all, these these were left over. So we might as well use up these. I'll put that one in there and we might have this one as well. And I'm just going to staple that one in there. So only a few pages. You don't want too many. You don't want to um, add too much bulk. To, there's enough bulk going into the journal, journals or whatever you're making. So, oh, I think I remember Tina did this. She went like this and she folded it down and was able, that's how she got in there. Look at that. Oh, that's better. Ding dong. Without putting too much of a crease in there. Fold it. If you've got this one, it's quite good. I could put one in the middle then, couldn't I? How about that? There we go. Oh, that's even better than the last one. Okay, good. So that's that. And that will attach down on the page or it can wrap around a page. Okay, and that is even quite pretty. So if you had it decorated on the inside, that could actually just be a little tuck as well. But that's really exaggerating, isn't it? Um, so that one's like that and that's there so this one I am not going to stick any full pieces of paper on there so I could do my little snippy snip like this actually I could even do one like this because I've got nice paper on the inside there we go and so that's one to deck I love making these I'm really having a lot of fun I'm glad I came up to do this um, we also have this one. I might as well do this one as well, if you don't mind. I haven't done my trifold yet. I should do that. Like 
so I want to keep that so that's going to be my base and I don't need such a huge flap do I and then fold that down and then do our snippies so how is everyone today gosh I just got because I'm so late like literally it's like five o'clock in the afternoon I never do videos that late in the day um, and I'm I'm further away hopefully I've stayed on screen oh gosh I won't be able to publish it because I can't cope with all the the um, you know the annoyed comments that I get if I go off screen I wouldn't publish it if I'm really off screen all the time I'm trying really hard it's just I'm concentrating on what I'm doing and I'm not looking at the screen oh dear me I'm probably gone off quite a lot I beg of you don't don't tell me I know Right, and then these I mean we really can make the prettiest envelopes can't we without even having to purchase them nothing wrong with these these are just like the rectangle window ones oh another fun thing that you could do with these is you could put them through your um, big shot or use your um, exacto knife and, and a, a safe ruler obviously and you could cut a window out and put some tracing paper in there and then um, close it up and do the um, Tina project I'll call it the Tina project so we're going to put our glue here and here maybe I'll smoosh a bit more glue everywhere so that way I might open this one at the top how about that I don't know, I better do it everywhere so that way I open it at the correct top. Okay. And we'll just run it up here just in case. I wonder if you can hear me even louder because I'm I'm near my telephone might be able to hear better the risk is always just this on on or off screen issue that's an issue okay so that's that and then we'll add our papers and then we can decorate that and I'm I'll let it dry a second and then I'll um we'll have a piece of this where's my ruler yeah. Of course you could put even more pages in like I'm only putting a couple in just for time purposes it's a time issue it's a time issue um, they're getting smaller and smaller in here Gosh, I even hoard the, these in papers. Why am I hoarding that? That's a great piece to put in. Let's just eyeball it. Perfect. And fold it. And use that. Why, why I would hoard that, I don't know. I've got quite a few of those. Silly person. I have that, maybe have that one on the outside. That it really matters slip something else on there and then put this here oh no we haven't closed it yet let's do that first so this one I think well will I oh I've got a piece of this let's use this and I'll just tear this down I don't want to use all of it because I don't want to cover uh, all that lovely script only a little bit and again I don't I'm, I'm gonna lose I'm gonna just glue it down and not worry about losing that depth there. I'm just going to glue it down with the glue stick and I'll just fold that up and tear it off. Okay. So I must um, try and find a um a new um okay so that's that and 
and I was going to trim it at the top, wasn't I? Let's attach our pages anyway. And they don't really have a direction. Just sort of eyeball. Where's my clip? Where is my clip? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Silly. So put your clip on that side. Just roll this down. Don't fold, don't crease it, just roll it down. The, the stapler will go in there. Look, just slide it along. That makes it less awkward, doesn't it? That's pretty good. There we go. And this one I'm going to open at the top. Scissors. Let's see what happens because it is a handmade envelope. Oh, I like it. I really do like it. I think it, it is quite good. It's quite a good deal. Um, having the it printed on both sides. And you could just print it draft if you wanted to with just like a coffee dyed paper or something like that. That didn't really matter whether it, there was too much detail. You just want a bit of color. Okay, good. And that's that one. So let's decorate them. I have no idea what I want to put on them. And and then I'll just show you the gluing on one of the... I love them. Really nice. Can make some more. I always like it when, when I enjoy a project. Well, I enjoy most of it, don't I? <laughs> As I always tell you, it's all about the fun. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, I'm going to put a pocket. Let's put a pocket. Let's put this as a pocket. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to tear this. Can you even see? Let me get over here. I'm going to tear this off here. And I'm going to tear it closer to this image, a little bit of this image. And then I'm going to fold that down. So I don't have to reinforce it because as long as the pressure point, is, which is where you slide things in, is strong, and folding it down strengthens it, as I've told you before. Well, that's what I believe. Anyway, that's my belief. Um, then I don't have to reinforce it, and I can. And I don't. I have less bulk because I haven't made it really thick, and I can make a nice pocket from it. So let's do that, and we'll just do a little a little punchapoo. Oh, excuse me, puncheroo. I said puncheroo. Yeah. Yes, not, not in the middle. Let's say we try our best not to be in the middle. No, there I should have been in the middle, but I didn't worry about it. I just did it. Because I don't like being fussy. And it was almost the perfect, perfect thing. I might have to snip a little bit off. Not really. No, you can't really see it too badly. Okay, so that's going to be my pocket. Feeling all hot now. I feel like I need something else up here. Let's fold that over. I have, I have this book too, guys. There's not that many images in it. It's just a vintage. It's a bit whiffy. I kept it out on my terrace with that carbon stuff for a very long time. It did take out a lot of the smell. Like you could do something with those, but a lot of it's writing. So I was thinking that you could make really nice, um, I like that, you see. You could make really nice tags and things from it. So I thought I might have a go at doing something with that. There you go, I got sidetracked for a second. So let's go back to the job at hand and see. Oh, there's those lovely tags we did the other day. I love these. I'm going to do more of these. This is what I do when I'm procrastinating. I just get sidetracked and remember other things. Okay, so we need to put something. No, I don't want to put that there. I love this. That could be like, I could make that into a tag or journal card that could go in there, but I still need something here. Oh, sorry guys, got a fright. Oh, I like that. Oh, I do like that. Do you know what I'm going to do if I can find some? I'd like to put something like this. I might put that 
behind it. Yes, I'm going to put that one on. Good one, good one, good one. So I'm going to glue this on. Here's my glue book. Glue. Let's stay over here on screen. Okay. I've got my... That's the marble paper sideways. Why not? And I do need to do a little snippy here because I've left a bit of white there. And it will show up on the on the um, on the marble paper. Now I need to tell my husband I've got issues when he's just come home. I'll have to tell him Dear hubby, I've got issues. Help. Put that there. I like that. I like how it blends in. Sometimes I like to go really clashy, and sometimes I like to go blendy. Sometimes a bit blendy. I like that. And I could think. Oh, we got a little piece. Do we need any more? We might need a little piece of this. I have different looks. No, nope, I think I'm going to leave that. You could put a tab on here if you wanted to. And that, I'll make that into a journal card. That will go in there. And then I love this. I don't want to put too much. Maybe we could put a bird or something floral. Um, I've got a bit of... Uh, well, that's really... They're French samples, those. But that's in Italy. And this is um, in Latin. It's one of my old book pages in Latin. So it's probably a bit more Italian. Although, you know, all the other countries had Latin as well. I was just trying to see if there was anything like you could even you could even fussy cut the lovely lady out, couldn't you? A fussy cut lady could be nice, but I don't normally do that, do I? I normally go a bit more botanical. I'm getting distracted by all the pretty things. I need to concentrate. Um, I'm not going to put another pocket, and I'm going to grab. Oh, here they are. Flowers and birds. Oh, I've got Italy here as too as well. Let's have a look here. So I don't sometimes I just don't put these things away because um, because I just think I need them. I love that. I think I'm gonna put that there. Does it cover up too much? Or something smaller? She's pretty. I think I like her. Okay, let's rip her up. I mean, I don't mean rip her up. I just mean let's cut around. I'm, I'll just keep the frame. I fear I may have gone off screen. Oh, this is not going to be good. Pretty, pretty sunset. We're not having one of those. It's foggy. Okay. I do like that. And she doesn't cover too much up. And I feel like it's very fitting. I do. I feel like it's very fitting. I love that. I can go on an Italian style journal. And you've got that, and then that all can wrap around the edge of your page. Where'd that book page go? Oh, I threw it over there. So you can wrap it around your page, like so. The edge of the page, so that would be the centre. Like that. And then that would be there. Or attach it down as I said glue it down and this is so pretty you could just reinforce this little bit behind and then make it a side tuck put things in there if you want to I wouldn't in that case well I tell you what's good about the the baker's twine is that you know when you're turning your pages this would be flipping about whereas if you've got the baker's twine um, it holds it in, in you know it doesn't flip about sort of thing 
Um, and these things, I you know, I quite like putting them on the inside cover of a journal. So the back or the front. I like to put them on the inside cover of a journal as well. That's a nice thing to do. So I love that. Okay, that's done. So let's have a look at this one. We might not... Let's have a look here. I might just decorate this one. Again, this one is in. Isn't that pretty? I don't think we need another side tuck because we've already got a side tuck. I'm just feeling like she's disappearing a little bit. That one's even bigger. They're all disappearing, the colours. So, um, oh, what about some handwriting? Look at this. These are all left over from yesterday. Let's just tear this. I might put that there. I don't care that they're going a different way. I'm actually enjoying that and doing that on purpose. So we'll just glue that. See, now I'm thinking I'd like, I really like that. I'm going to put that on there. I was going to make that into a tag, but I've got more printouts of it, so I can just make it in. I can make print out another one, or I think I've probably got another one floating around somewhere. I usually have multiple printouts. Oh, and you could probably also do this idea if you wanted to with the, the, the envelopes in the new kit. I didn't think about that. I should have done that. Well, that's another video. We'll do that in another video. And here we might like to use... Oh, I've got a label there. Probably don't need any more labels let's see if i might like a piece of this yes or do i want it to go that way i might like it to go that way and i'll just take a little bit off because there's too much okay and then here, I do have, oops, sorry, I do have some scraps here of these lovely papers. Too much vertical. Oh, what about something like that? Let me cut that. This one's printed on cardstock. I don't know why. Don't normally print on cardstock. Normally print on just regular copy paper. So we could have that there just to break it all up and then put that. Oh, I like that. I'm going to do that. Something different. Um, glue paper, get new glue paper. Okay, just going to trim a bit of this off. Sometimes I do like the straight lines. And you could, you know, you could put more pages in and you could even do a little bit of embellishing on the pages if you wanted to. And I won't put it in the center of that. I'll just slide it up a little bit. There we go. And then, what do we want? Let's grab the birds. I don't want to cut. I have to, well... Not that it matters, it's just a paper bird. I could cut the snippet's tail off. That one could be cute. I'm going to cut that one out if I can find my little scissors. Uh -huh. Interesting. Excuse my arm.
Oh, we need to cut this out first before we go any further. So anything that gets in your way when you're fussy cutting, just snip it off like that. I seem to be wanting to cut all the edge off. So please forgive me if I've gone off screen a bit. You're going to have to put up with it a little bit just while I figure out what to do about um, my thing. What I don't like is that the bird, I like it down there though. Or would I want a flower shooting up? Let me just grab my Floridian book. My Floridian book. Grab this label here. of things that I had were mostly cut to somewhere. Here they are. They haven't gone far. Let's just have a look here. I just thought about that. These are all from, from books. There could be something in here. I were to put without you know messing about too much glue the bird down and put something oh yeah that's it I like that that way we're not gonna, we don't have to fussy cut any flowers we've already fussy cut the bird let's use the bird Let's go with the bird. I'm just going to glue it off camera a little bit. Okay, so the bird's going there. See, I've got, so the reason why I feel like I need to put this here is I feel like my bird's more on this side and I've got more empty space here. So that's why it makes me automatically feel like I want to put my label more on that side. Okay, so that's that. So there, and then open it and that's there. And then you've got your pocket in here. Okay, and I've lost my other one. I'll put it up there. Okay, let's put them in a spot where I can't, don't lose them. We've got this one here. So pretty. Doesn't need much. It could really have, you know, like some sort of label that you could write a, you know, like a date on. Or actually it could just have a lovely, oh, I like that. Let's put a Notre Dame on there. Is it Notre Dame? Could be. Because there's a few churches in France. Um, or cathedrals, I should say, that have that sort of thing, that um, shape. So I'm not always 100% sure when seeing a black and white one like that, which one it is. 
but I'm assuming that's what it is. I'm going to put that there. And I need a scrap of something. Sort of like it. See, now I am going a little bit clashy, but I kind of like that. Yeah, I like that. Um, it's like a end paper or something. but I think I'll take off that straight edge. Okay. Okay. And we could have maybe, do we need, no, I'm not going to put a Tracy label there. I'm going to flip it over. I could decide to add something at another time. And Let's see what I have here. More ladies. That little lady's nice. That's in Italy, so I won't, I won't go to a different country. So I'm thinking while I'm doing this, making my boo-boos, that I will um, put some baker's twine on one, but not on the others, because uh, I might not want it on the others. Let's see what she looks like. Put her there. It's a bit similar, isn't it? I think maybe I'll just leave that one to be decorated by someone at some time. Now I was thinking I'll put the baker's twine on this one because it's got a big flap. So you just grab it, grab your tacky glue, measure your twine. Who's doing all that crazy printing? Me. Can hmm. I take this stapler? Yes, you Thank may. You. Say hello to everybody. Hi guys, how are you? Oh, oh well, they can't answer you. That's the dumb question. <laughs> You're such a Rachel. <laughs> Good luck, Lulu. I'm going to go back to my studying. Bye-bye. Bye, Lulu. Thanks for the safe lot. Okay, so then you just get this and just run some glue along. I think I'll have it sort of centred. I'm not going to sort of measure where the centre is. Along there. Not too much glue. Then maybe find... It's about halfway, isn't it? I don't know, put it there. Just leave it there and it will dry and then you'll be able to tie it at the front and that will hold it all shut, but it's not glued shut here. Okay, so that's that one. I'm gonna let that dry. This is quick dry, so it should be all right. It should dry soon. And then we've got this one here that we put a pocket there and it just opens like that and then we've got a top loading pocket this has a side loading one and then we did this one that has a side loading pocket so you can put stuff in there it opens like that and then you've got a few journaling pages and i thought that was an ingenious idea by tina and i know many of us have made these before it's a really enjoyable project so you can make it with your papers or you can make it with make them with your recycling your envelopes as well or printable envelopes like I know Artie Mays team um Andrea from Artie Mays has lovely um envelopes um we've done some envelopes so some bigger ones so that could be fun I think I'm going to give those a go another day I just didn't think about it. oh and another thing you could do it with are these wonderful just a sec These wonderful pages could be made into an envelope like that and do the same sort of thing. So, yeah, so many possibilities. So I hope you enjoyed that.
that's almost dry. Um, I'll just show you that one again quickly. I didn't put anything in there because I have to decide. Um, yeah, but it's a fun project and it's really fun making your own envelopes with the papers as well. So um, yeah, fun project. So I hope you give it a go and, and have a great day. Bye.